His name is Marquise Williams, the fourth of four quarterbacks on the Riders' depth chart, but his resume suggests he may not stay that far down for long. Williams didn't actually join the Riders until they were about a week into camp. Factor in the Florida minicamp in the days leading up to Saskatoon, number 14 was well behind the others. I'm behind the eight ball. I got here when they was on install five. I figured like if I put in the extra time, it'd help me. You know, I was, I study, study, study. Not to mention his unfamiliarity with the Canadian game, Williams had a lot of cramming to do. Because when I came first day, I was, I was swimming. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> but the extra work he's put in hasn't gone unnoticed by all the right people. He's looking at his wristband. He's out here by himself late in the evening going through the play calls. I don't know how many of y'all seen that, but that's impressive for a quarterback or any, any guy for that matter to take the time, uh, especially, you know, the long days in the dog days of camp. Uh, to go out there and put in that extra work. So it, it doesn't go unnoticed, I can assure you. Williams was also afforded a few minutes in the preseason game Saturday, and he didn't disappoint. You know, I was down in some big time games in college, you know, so I, I knew, hey, just think back at UNC, think back at Darren Durant, you know, just what would he do in this situation? That's right. He said Darian Durant. Williams went to the same college as Durant, the University of North Carolina, where Durant is a legend and where Williams also broke a few of Durant's records. Honestly, I broke them all. <laughs> he, I think he held like 27, I finished with 32, but. And now Williams has followed Durant's footsteps to Saskatchewan. Could he be the second coming of a quarterback who meant so much to the Riders organization? Williams didn't believe it either when the Riders called him a little more than a week ago. You know, I was just thinking of how Darren Durant was here, you know, and I just finished talking to Darren like a day before, and I'm like, they're like, did Darren DD say something or is this, you know, it just happened that, you know, God just put me back in his shoes to keep following someone who's been a legend around here. It may be a bit of a stretch to suggest Williams will lead the Riders to a Grey Cup championship as well anytime soon, but he's certainly off to a great start. You know, whatever happens next, you know, I, I can only control what I can control. Glenn Reed, CBC News, Saskatoon.